read a book titled Corinne Finds Her Beat. I am reading from the Achievement Room. This room is dedicated to local educator Miss Mabel Thomas and her sisters Alice and Lorraine. One area of this room looks like the typical one to three room school the African American children attended. A visit to this room will show you the journey from the slave ship to the spaceship to the White House. I hope you enjoy my story. I stood in front of the mirror with my new dance uniform on. I had told my mother that I wanted to start dance class, but now I was so nervous. I hope I'll do okay. It was my first day of ballet. I love to see ballerinas dance so gracefully. I looked at the poster on my wall. I want to dance just like you. I said to the model in the picture. I looked down at my leotard, tights, and pink dance shoes, and then back at the mirror. Then I heard my mom call me, alerting me it was time to go to class. But then, scurried back to the mirror, I can do this, I just have to be brave. I said as I grabbed my, bag, my dance bag and headed out the door. On the ride to dance class, I wondered to myself, what if I fall? What if the other kids laugh at me? Will there be other ballerinas there? I sighed as I looked out the window. I watched different cars drive past and the sunlight grazed my face. Not even my favorite song on the radio took me out of my trance. After a few lights and turns, we arrived at Dance Academy. We're here, are you ready, my mom asked, while turning to face me. I guess I said, shyly, as I gazed down at my hands. It's okay to be nervous, Corinne, my mother said. Everyone gets nervous when trying something new. You'll be just fine. Okay, I mumbled as I unfastened my seatbelt. We walked across the parking lot. I held my mother's hand tightly as I saw girls coming in and out of dance school, all dressed in their dance uniform. We arrived at the front desk and I looked around. There were pictures of different students posing in costumes on the wall. I can hear my mom speaking to the receptionist and I peeked around her arm to see what was going on in the studio. Everyone had their dance uniforms on. Some were tall, some were short, but all dressed alike. Just then, one of the instructors came up to my mom and me and said, hi, my name is Miss Patricia. I am one of the dance instructors here. What is your name? She extended her hand to me. Oh, she's talking to me, I said in my head. I'm Corinne, I said quietly. She's a little nervous today, my mom stated as she rubbed my hand for reassurance and I felt comforted. No need to be nervous. You'll have a good time. Come on, I will show you around the school, Miss Patricia said. We all began to tour this school. We walked into the first dance studio, which some girls were leaving. This is our tap and jazz studio, Miss Patricia said. I peeked in and saw the girls were lined up. The instructor was giving them dance directions. My eyes grew in excitement as the music came on and the girls began their routine. Do you like what you see so far, my mom asked as she looked down at me noticing my excitement. Yes, I nodded my head in delight. So here we have our ballet room. Miss Patricia pointed to the next room. This is our advanced class with some of our older girls. Soothing music was playing as the girls moved in sync. This is amazing, I said, as the dancers glided across the studio. We continued our tour and came to the studio where my class was held. Okay, Corinne, you can put your things over in the cubbies before your class begins, Miss Patricia said as she pointed to the corner of the studio. Your instructor's name is Miss Donna. She'll be in shortly. My mom and I walked over to the cubby section where she helped me place my things in the cubby. Once class is over, I will be right outside waiting for you, my mom said. You will be just fine, she, she smiled warmly as she gave me a quick hug. I stood to the side as some girls started walking in. They walked towards the cubbies to place their belongings there. As they passed me, they stared and whispered. I looked down to my feet. I wonder what they're saying, I thought to myself. Hi, I'm Mia, what is your name, a girl asked me. She was about my height and a tooth missing. I'm Corinne. Oh, you are new here, she continued, putting her things away in the cubby. We have to sit here until Miss Donna comes in. Come on, I'll show you, Mia pointed and walked over to the middle of the class. There was a group of girls that were all talking when we arrived. We sat down and everyone looked at me. This is Corinne, Mia said to everyone. She is new here. Shock took over me. I didn't know what to say. 
Hi, the girl said all in unison. Hi, I said shyly. Have you danced before, Lily? A girl with glasses asked. Nope, this is my first time, I answered. How old are you, another asked. I'm seven. Oh, I'm seven too. I'm eight, one of the other girls said. Everyone was talking at the same time and I sat and took in the atmosphere. There were three rows of dance bars in the room. There was also a large mirror that reached from the ceiling to the floor. A TV and speakers were mounted on the wall. As I was taken in the surroundings, Miss Donna came into the room. Good afternoon, ladies, she said as she walked in with her dance bag hanging from her shoulder. Good afternoon, Miss Donna, all of the girls sang. Then we all stood up. Come on, Mia whispered, you can stand next to me. I smiled as I followed her to the dance bar. How is everyone doing today, the instructor asked. Ready to get started? Yes, Miss Donna. She walked to the middle of the class and looked around. Oh, hello, you must be Corinne. She looked at me and smiled. I waved and smiled back. Is this your first ballet class, Miss Donna asked as she walked over and stood next to me. Yes, I asked as I looked up to her. Your very first dance class ever, she asked as she smiled and placed her hand on her hips. Yes, I giggled as everyone in the class laughed. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Corinne, we all had fun and you will learn a lot. She turned to the rest of the class. Everyone, let's say hello to Corinne. This is her first ballet class, Ms. Donna announced. A few classes came and went and I practiced over and over. We were getting close to our first performance and my excitement was growing each day. I was sitting on my porch waiting to go to dance class. It was a nice day outside, but for some reason, I was feeling a little down. I heard the door open behind me and I knew it was my mother. She greeted me as she sat next to me. Hey, Corinne. Hi, mom, I said as I looked up to acknowledge her. Oh, sweet pea, why so sad? She asked as she nudged my shoulder. Have you ever felt like you couldn't do anything? I asked my mother. We have a performance coming up and I'm super nervous. I cut my face with my hands. My mom turned to me to answer, well, what makes you nervous? You have been doing very well in dance. You've been practicing and I see the progress. Miss Donna has even said she's proud of you. I guess, I said, but what if I mess up? Some of the other girls are really good and I'm nowhere close to being as good as them. Whoa, 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 slow down there, my mother cut in. Corinne, people mess up all the time. The more you practice, the better you get. She raised my chin so I would look at her. You will be just fine. You just have to believe in yourself and that you will do great. I believe in you, she smiled, and I smiled back at her and gave her a hug. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Now let's get out of here before you're late for class. To hear more about Corinne and her journey, you can purchase the copy at CorinneFindsHerBeat.com. Thank you.